Okay, so hello and welcome. What we want to start looking at now is multiplying binomials. Remember, you must write. Uh, as I write, you must take down notes as, as I write, and you need to learn actively. So we are going to be looking at multiplying binomials, and that's saying if I have two expressions, where the one expression is a and the other one is plus b, that's one expression, right? And then I've got another expression that, uh, that I'm going to multiply, for example, c plus d. There's a very simple way that we look at this. We say, take the first term in the first factor and multiply it by the entire bracket. So therefore, a, plus, a times c, uh, a multiplied by c plus d, then I take the second term as I see it, and I say plus b, and I, and I multiply that by the entire thing over here, c plus d. Okay. And then, then I multiply it out, and then it's just really what we've seen in the previous video, the monomial multiplied by the binomial, that's going to be a times c, remember a c means a multiplied by c, plus, because it's a positive times a positive, a multiplied by d. And then I do the same on this side, right, exactly the same thing, and I say plus b multiplied by c, plus b multiplied by d. Okay, so that's the general rule of what things are going to look like. Don't stress too much because we're going to see a number of examples right now. So let's start over here. Let's put down example number one. And example number one, let's let's look at this. I'm going to write this out in black. 2x plus 3y, and that's my first factor, multiplied by 3x minus 4y. And I'm going to show you how to do this the long way, right? So I have really just given you the question. We haven't done anything yet. And then we say this is equal to, take this entire first term, 2x, and then write out the factor that's next to it. 3x minus 4y plus the second term, 3y multiplied by 3x minus 4y. And now the process really becomes what the process was before. It's take this term and multiply it by this term, and then take that term and multiply it by that term, and then do the same thing on this side, and the same thing on that side. Okay, so, so now our next step is just to really multiply it out, and we say take this term, which is 2x, multiplied by the first term, which is 3x. So all we start with multiplying out the signs. This is a 2, that's a 3, that's a positive 2, that's positive 3. A positive multiplied by a positive must give me a positive. 2 multiplied by 3 is going to give me 6. And x multiplied by x is going to give me x squared. Let's look at the next one. That's positive 2x multiplied by minus 4y. So we start with the signs and we say a positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 4 is going to be 8. And x multiplied by y is just xy. Let's do the same thing on this side. Pause and make sure you understand what, what just happened over here, right? Then we say a positive times a positive. That's going to be a positive. Then we say 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, right? Um, and then we've got x multiplied by y. Now remember I told you in the previous video y multiplied by x is exactly the same as x multiplied by y. Okay. 9xy, and then I say positive times a negative is negative, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, and y multiplied by y is y squared. Now if you look at this, this question over here, this is counting x squareds, this is counting y squareds, and so you definitely can't add those two. But then if you look at this thing over here, and this thing over here, this is counting xy's or yx's, and this is also counting xy's. And so we call these two items like terms. Right. We call these like terms. And with those like terms, we can now add them. And so we say, okay, this is just equal to 6x squared minus 8xy plus 9xy. It's like minus 8 plus 9. It's going to be positive 1xy, which is just positive xy, minus 12y squared. And there you go. That's the first example. 
Right, we're going to have a few more examples, uh, which we'll add shortly.